Today I'm going to show you how to download and install NetLogo so you could do some agent-based modeling. I have a Windows machine running right here, but it'll work on Linux and Mac OS also. And the browser doesn't really matter, but I have Google Chrome running. Let's go ahead and type in the address bar, NetLogo download. Just go ahead and hit download NetLogo. Cool, we're going to have to enter in our name. Peter Baker and email simtechgamer7 at proton.me. I just use it for videos and I'll hit the download. And we got a choice of what platform we want. I'm going to pick Windows 64 bit. I'm going to hit the download button and you can see it's downloading. I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished. All right, I got a little message that popped up saying my download was complete. We'll go to this arrow with the tray and you'll have this net logo i'm on 6.3.0-64 this number here is because i did it a few times don't worry about that you, you won't have that number i am going to click this and we get our install shield i'll hit next and that's good i'll take the default location for the installation i'll take the default installation for the start menu uh, let's add add desktop shortcut sure why not there we go. And we'll just hit install. All right, now you might get a little Windows warning somewhere saying, do you give permission for this software to be downloaded? And it doesn't pop on the, up on the video when I do it. So I'm gonna pause the video, wait for a little shield to come up, give it permission, and then it'll continue downloading. There we go, I hit my little shield, and now the download is starting. So again, it said, do you give permission to install? Yes or no? I hit yes. I'm going to pause the video again because this is boring to watch. There we go. I got my finish. I'm going to press it. Cool. I'm going to close this window right here. Just shrink it down. And then, oh, look at that. NetLogo. NetLogo and NetLogo 3D. I'm going to do NetLogo. Double click. Open it up. It'll take a second. There we go. And we have NetLogo. All right, so the next video, I'm going to show you how to start doing some stuff in NetLogo.